Welcome to Manjaro Linux tutorial number four. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, remote desktop your Linux computer using Loast Desk. I have in the previous video, I've shown you how to um, set up the software and also how to install packages on Manjaro Linux. So uh, today, we're going to show you step by step how to do remote desktop because you might be, for example, um, working uh, from home and you want to remote desktop it off uh, computer on your, um, in your office or uh, in your company. Traditionally, um, you might be using, for example, uh, TeamViewer, AnyDesk. There's some other alternative, but uh, uh, I have started using last days, the last couple of days, and I really like it. So I'm going to show you how to install it. Go to the, uh, add the open the, add the install software. So from here, just search R-U-S, uh, R-U-S-T, D-S-K, Rust Desk. This is an open source uh, package for doing remote desktop. It's very powerful and it's very easy to uh, get started. From the search result here, you can find the Rust Desk and also the Rust Desk Bing. Whenever you are searching software, you will find something, the name of the software and then Desk Bing. They usually want to install this one because it has been compiled and it's much faster to install. This one sometimes might need to compile, so it can take longer time. I would recommend just using the last test bin, then just click the apply. It's going to basically download uh, the package and then checking all the dependencies. So after that, uh, click apply. You might need to enter your password. Uh, it's going to generate the bin uh, information. Sometimes it might be more downloading the repo from GitHub. Okay, so I'm just keep hit enter. And hopefully it should be done uh, in just a couple of seconds. If you want, you can click this one. It can take you to the website. For example, this is where that did come from. It's from GitHub and also it's hosted on the uh, Arch Linux uh, repository. If you want to learn more, you can click this uh, URL to take you to GitHub. So last disk support a lot of platforms. You can go to the releases here. You'll be able to find uh, the different operating system. Uh, for example, Windows, Ubuntu, Mac, Android, iOS, and even the web version. So the, you can download this one to install manually, but as you can see on Manjaro Linux, we can just use one command line uh, to install it uh, pretty easy. Okay, it's done. So after that, just go to the start menu, search Rust. You should be able to find this one. And if you want, you can add this one to favorite, or you can also add to uh, the task manager. I'm going to just add to the fabric. So next time you don't have to search, just come here and click this link, uh, the, the icon. You should be able to find it. Okay, so it has uh, started. Um, here is the ID. So you can install Rust Test on another computer and then just you enter the ID here into the remote I, uh, desktop and then you can just click connect. So I recommend uh, change the password. Uh, one time password, people can still get also, you can set up VPN, so in that way it's more secure, but um, I will do that in another video. For now, just click this one here, go to the settings, and then unlock security settings, enter your system password, hit enter authenticate, and from here, use permanent password. So you can set a permanent one rather than uh, a, a temporary one. So in that way, you can remember the password, and I'm going to basically enter all here. Click OK. <laughs> Oops, it's in identical. Let me enter again. So maybe it may be because of the um, I'm on a remote desktop, so it may be something weird. Okay, it works now. So uh, now you should do the just password. Uh, the permanent password. You can also enable two-factor authentication. I highly recommend this one. Just use your cell phone, install, for example, OC. Uh, this is my personal favorite for doing uh, two-factor authentication. Just install this one on your cell phone. Then scan this QR code, enter the six-digit um, uh, verification number here, then click OK. So next time, if you need to in uh, re um, remote desktop this computer, it's going to send, uh, you need to open the, uh, the authentication app to enter the passcode. So in that way, it's much safer rather than just uh, the password. Last one here, if you want to enable direct IP access, so in this way, uh, you can 
figure out the IP of this computer and then so from you install uh, Rust this on another computer then you can just enter the IP into um, the 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 input box here and then just click connect it will ask you to enter the password so this ID here is kind of a public so people can guess your ID and then trying to gain access so make sure that you enable two-factor authentication it's very much similar to team viewer and uh, any test but the nice thing about this you can host your own uh, server so if you know how to do that you can click this one and then install a server also you can use VPN to actually secure access to that but I don't have time to do this one uh, in this video um, I will show you in another video so right now um, we have this one set up properly and um, I will show you for example how to remove desktop into this computer so I'm going to copy this uh, URL and then I'm going to open my remote desktop so go ahead and install last test on another computer or your cell phone and after that you can just enter this uh, ID and also your password then you should be able to remote desktop so as you can see right now I'm actually remote desktop my computer uh, to another server actually it's um, right now because we're running this one within the um, virtual box and this is actually I'm remote desktop my windows and then within the windows I install, install virtual box so inside you'll be able to find last days actually uh, in here so try it out and um, I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one.